Namaste. Morning. Aside from its restorative benefits, practicing with props allows us to refine our technique and gets us deeper into the inner sensations of the elements at hand. And we can utilize the things around the house to serve as props, pillows, blankets, and even your carpet. So those are ways for you to, and the walls and the chairs, yeah? So they will give you the same energetic benefit, physical benefit, even actually more uh, meaningful because it's your personal thing, yeah? So you're more comfortable when you use your things around you which are close to you. All right, so we start, yeah, lying on the tummies, yeah. All right, so this sequence is restorative and lightly energizing. Not energizing physical, but energizing um, internally. Yeah. So in here, bending one knee to the side, use the pillow to support the knee, and then use the blanket to support your chest. And if you need, move your head over the top of the blanket so you have this clearance, and you rest your head to the side, yeah. and then stay and relax. Yeah. And breathing mindfully through the nose, inhaling, on your out breath, let your body sink, contouring on the shape of your bosom, the soft cushion. If your head fatigues, you can turn it to the other side or you may tuck the head down. Right. And then here, we fold the knee and then circle the knee around. And you can allow your eyes to close behind your eyelids. And then just rest your forehead. And then just limping your foot and then let it fall close to your backside. And stay. So this position, Matsyakri Dasana may look simple externally, but it's so beneficial for relaxing the three important energetic points of our bodies. So first, the pelvic floor, where we hold the uh, element of earth. Yeah, it's the foundation, it's the solid state. Yeah. We call that in yoga the Muladhara Chakra. Yeah. And when we are physically stressed, yeah, improper posture, yeah, even unhealthy diet and lifestyle, yeah, and clogging yeah, the pathways there. So our pelvic floor is meant to be free and open of stagnation. In this position, yeah, the flipping fish aids digestion, yeah, elimination, yeah. and then turn the head, yeah, staying. And there's no, uh, I say, yeah, rule here. Yeah, as long as it feels good for the joints, yeah, turn the head, yeah, hold it longer. Yeah, you can lift the thigh, swim the leg. Yeah, circle that foot around. Yeah. Feel free to open the elbows and find the leg from side to side. Sometimes limping that foot to the side feels good for the hips. And let the body fall. Oh, feels good this one. When the foot is resting to the opposite side, you may lift the upper back and the chest, lift the thigh, you may reverse. Yeah. And aside from the pelvic floor, this also relaxes, energizes, and stimulates the sacral region. Yeah. 
are element of water, the fluidity. Yeah. It's the seat of our creative functions, both physically and spiritually, mentally. Yeah. Our creative side down the sacral cavity. Yeah. It relaxes the sciatic nerve. Helps correct postural imbalances. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Having pronounced abnormal spine curvature, scoliosis, scoliosis, I have that condition. And every time you know, the nerve there becomes so compressed, and this position helps uh, alleviate the discomfort. Yeah. And with the Adani resting, so you have this elevation too, so it allows yeah, the weight of the hips to sink. And you can hold it longer. Yeah? Beautiful. All right. And then open up, extend the leg. Yeah, you can place your forearm there and then breathe the chest away. From your hips, adjust the spine. Yeah, so this becomes a gentle back pin too. Yeah. Slash hip opener. It feels good. Yeah. You can bend like that. Yeah. Good. Extend, you may use the arm to lift the side higher and longer. Mm, and settle. My favorite stretch. And after this, like you've done many rounds of vinyasas <laughs> without yeah, the pressure. Mm, even the tongue inside, so if you notice, I'm rolling my tongue inside the mouth because the tongue uh, can access those inner compartments, the back of the shoulders, the back of the hips. Yeah. Explore. Yeah. So that's the beauty of home practice. Yeah. There's no judging you. Feel free to explore the possibilities. Yeah. And it's all present. This is that if you practice in a group class situation you know, or scenarios, you know, we are too conscious of our movements at home, you are comfortable. You know? No one watches. Good. Extend the leg. Feel that? Ooh, feels good for the hips, and then just move them side to side. You may cross the forearms, and then bend the knees, and finding your legs from side to side. Good, and let them fall, and then fall like this. You may lift the hips, and allow the hips to hang. And lightly up, and then stretching yeah. the navel, the belly, the rib cage. Good. All right. Pressing to kneel. Yeah, just to balance and the balasana. So just place your knees on that soft blanket. You can place that pillow in front yeah, to support your yeah, extension or your flexion here. Good. Right. So this position, balasana, yeah, good for massaging the organs inside the abdomen cavity. Yeah. Where you have the Manipura Chakra, you know, Chakra of Assimilation, Digestion. You know. It's the seat of fire element. You know, so it burns you know, the toxins. And actually, the energy coming or circulating around the the abdomen cavity, the navel, is neutral. We call the Samana Bayu. And the Samana Bayu, it's like a byproduct of your hep energy and the sacral energy blending. Water and, and uh, earth element, yeah? when they blend, they produce the digestive fire. And then when the heps in the sacral cavity are closed, tight, blocked, yeah, we produce less of the digestive fire. Therefore, you know, we're faced with the many digestive, even sexual, and reproductive issues. Yeah, you know, most probably, 
they're caused by blockages or imbalances of your hips and the sacral cavity because when they're open the energy can yeah, easily rise up yeah, and that yeah, produces the digestive fire and the digestive fire is important because it's neutral yeah, it can flow yeah, through the rest of your system so important beautiful all right and then just a downward dog yeah to break the stagnation bend and stretch and the downward dog is an inversion so the energy yeah we harness and accumulate from the bottom regions we send it to our chest and to our neck and finally in the brain beautiful all right and then shifting forward all right and then just change yeah, so let me just turn yeah attending the other knee now yeah, flapping fish mm. your yeah, one side is tighter if this is your tighter side you may place your chest yeah further down your bolster you can just rest the head on the ground so this this healthy gap between your neck and your head yeah good and then you may open wider yeah spread longer and rest flatter stay breathe and notice how the breath becomes so flowing lying on this position yeah. aside from those three bottom chakras this chakra or this position also massages the lungs and the heart therefore it touches the anahata chakra yeah. the chest region good for respiratory functions and then there's no need to explain further you can feel it right away right as you breathe like this like the lungs can breathe more than yeah uh normal capacity so maximize that yeah, turn the head if you need right. and then the knee the massage knee joint yeah You may lift that foot. And speaking of breathing, so keep going. So our lungs, yeah, they have this capacity to expand, yeah, limitless. Yes, yeah, as long as you can, yeah, breathe yeah, expansively. Yeah, they have the capacity to absorb the breath. That's why cleansing kriyas, yeah, cleansing practices in Hatha Yoga, yeah, most of them are meant to you know, decongest yeah, the nasal cavity. Yeah. And of course, the inner compartments, yeah, the shatkarmas and the pranayamas, because they um, train the lungs and the rest of the inner vital organs to attain their maximum yeah, energetic potential, yeah, beyond uh, autonomic function. Yes, yeah. In a nutshell, that's Hatha Yoga. When the dormant centers inside yeah, awaken, yeah, the brain <laughs> awakens, the dormant centers there, and then we feel now yeah, the subtle body. And this subtle body, yeah, the elements um, sitting there. You don't think about the meditation part, yeah. So although that is the main goal, but you think about the physical benefit you're gonna gain, like more energy, yeah, vitality, rejuvenation of your cells. And just imagine, yeah, the health and wellness benefit you're gonna gain. But of course. Yeah, there's no way but to yeah, transition to the meditative components. Well, 
And meditation need not be intense. Just uh, keep going. Say <laughs> you may do this too while you listen. Um, meditative uh, components you know, may be as simple as being aware and mindful of your surrounding, your sensations, stillness, yeah, understanding, awareness. Yeah, all of this promote tolerance. And this becomes like an aura. Yeah. When our bodies are healthy, yeah, we worry less. Yeah, we have more energy, and we can yeah, put the efforts, yeah, for uh, more productive our energies to more productive um, needs. Yeah. Or projects or deeds, yeah, good, beautiful. All right, I'm releasing now. <laughs> May do this first. Crawl your spine forward. Yeah, bend the knee. Keep going. Lightly lift the head. Snaking forward and then swim the leg. Good, and then just level them. Yeah, and side to side them. Good. Crisscross, swim the leg. Let them fall. Yeah. Good. You might place a forearm down and then move your spine forward. Keep going. Yeah. And now, this is now where you can utilize yeah, yeah, the blanket like you're rubbing your body. Yeah. On the shape of your bolster, yeah. sliding down forward. Yeah. So we go really deep under the skin, yeah. really deep inside actually. The tongue. Yeah. If you rub the tongue from side to side and then breathe through it. You will feel the back of the shoulder blades and the internal abdomen cavity in the back of the sacrum. You know, the tongue is really um, a profound physical, energetic, and spiritual parts of uh, anatomy. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, kneeling. How good was that? Yeah. Reach. And fold. Hmm. Beautiful. All right, and you sit. Yeah. It's a simple practice such as that. Lying on the tummies, yeah, moving side to side, circle around, kneel, do a child stretch. And after that, Shavasana. What? Okay, this one. Yeah. If you feel the need to like do a mild side to side twist, do that. Yeah. You might circle around, yeah. You might hold the twist for a moment there, massage the inner thigh. Good. And just rest nice and flat. Good. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Have a beautiful day, and take care. Namaste.